What's up guys, welcome to the channel, I'm Craig, and we're gonna talk about the markets. We're gonna start out with the Dow Jones. You guys know my big picture in the Dow Jones. If you don't, check out any of my previous videos. But before we begin, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up, leave your comments below. I'm also gonna show you what I think's going on with Bitcoin, and I'll show you my latest short position. I did post it on the X. So uh, anyways, let's get into it. Let's take a look at 2007, which mind you, was an election year, right? Let's see when the Dow topped. The Dow topped October, October 12th. Uh, that was the very top. Of course, you had a bounce afterwards, right? And then after election, it had a big bounce here, but then a continuation to the downside. I do believe the Dow Jones is topped. We do have higher targets if it does somehow pop up. But either way, I think it's coming to an end. Let's take a look. We're going to go all the way to the present now, right? This was topped on October 18th, which was a Friday, right? Can we get another bounce up? Yes, but if we do, that's where I'm looking at the 44.5, 44.4 range, if it does. And looking at this big picture, I think it's just a ending fifth wave diagonal. It does not have to go all the way up to the top. I repeat, it does not have to go all the way up to the top. But let's take a look at the smaller time frame. Here's my target, 40.005. Or 40,450-ish, right? And that's just a measured move from the downside of this smaller ending fifth wave diagonal. So let's get into, let's take a look at what I posted here. So right here, BTC, neck short ladder, one-to-one -one extension, if it even gets there. And there's what I put before it got there, right? Let's take a look at where it's at now. But first, um, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up. Leave your comments. But let's, if you are interested in trading, definitely check out Prime XBT. I do have a link down below. I'll also leave some in the comments. Uh, you can get up to a $7,000 bonus using my link. Also, by using my link, the promo codes that I post once in a while on Twitter, you can put them in and get a $200 bonus without even making a deposit. So just make sure you have it set up and ready if you're following me on Twitter. You have to be the first one to use the codes when I post them. Uh, but you can trade Forex, Gold, Silver, Oil, S&P, Dow Jones, Crypto, everything, all from one exchange. So here it is. Is that our section? Are we continuing down from here? If it does blow up past this and breaks this high, your next stop is going to be the 12272 one, two, extension. And what is that? So I will put my stops just above this right here the 7145 range so i'll put my stops about 71 or 70,155. but as of right now we are getting rejected at this area let's see if this continues i do believe it most likely will and if it does where is your next stop going to be by using the fibs if that was the top right there so let's go down to so we put the fib extension starting at the top down to the bottom what i believe was just a one wave and that would get you, hold on, let me stretch this out so we can see it. That would get you a third wave. So if this is a one, this is a two. Your third wave is going to be all the way down here at the 1618, which is going to be around 6229, 6221. And if you look, there's a high volume node here also, which makes a lot of sense. So what would it look like? Something like this. Of course, unless we break that high. But let's take a look. Where is my... There it is. So it would be something like this. If that's the top there, we would get our... One, two, three would be down here. You'd probably get a wave four bounce, something like this. And then your fifth wave. Um, and that would be just a wave one on the start to the downside. But let's take a look at the big picture and the trend lines everyone needs to watch. Remember, this is not financial advice. I am showing you what I'm seeing in the market. So here's the daily, right? Well, first, let's take a look at the four hour. Then we'll go to the daily. So here's the four hour, this trend line right here, right? If we can close this four hour above, that's half the battle. Then you need to open and close the next four hour above this trend line, which is going to be lying around 68.850, right? So if we open and close the next four hour, then you start watching for maybe the bullish continuation, right? But let's take a look at the daily. We've seen bull traps before, right? You can see this trend line off these wicks here. 
and then you had wicks above the trend line, but you closed below. So we have about nine hours and 45 minutes to see where this closes. If it closes below this 68.863 again, chances are just a continuation. Another bull trap right here. As you can see, the wicks. When this trend line breaks, you should see a massive volume spike, which we are not seeing. Now, let's go to the weekly. As you can see on the weekly, now we're above that. But again, we have to close that. So Friday has to be above 68,660. 68, 6, what is it? 68,8, let's say. Right? Then we go over to the monthly, and that shows you we've made nothing but monthly lower highs and lower lows, right? Let me get this little one out of here. As you can see, we never broke this trend line off of these wicks here. Now, if we do, then I'll show you the bullish case. But as of right now, until it breaks that 69.6-ish range, we are still looking for more downside. And I believe it or is a good possibility that this could have a massive dump and close red or at least close at break even at this 62.5 range. So be extremely careful and cautious there. But as you can see, nothing but lower lows and lower highs for seven months now. I know everybody wants to believe that it's already broken. It hasn't. I just showed you. Uh, but what I do believe this whole structure is going to look like is something like we had over here with major downside. Now, again, I'm going to show you the bullish case here. Um, and it's not 100,000, even if it's a bullish case. And still, the ending result will be the same, in my opinion. Now, let's take a look. So this is the distribution schematic number two, right? If it does get up, I drew this in as a possibility months ago, right? If it does, then you're going to be looking at somewhere between the 75 and 85 for the absolute top and then start continuation of the downside. Although I don't think this is going to happen, it's definitely a possibility. And I've been putting this out there for many, many months as a possibility. So uh, just, again, really watch these trend lines here, right? Really keep a close eye on that. Will this pan out? Will this be, whoops, let me get that off of there, get back over to here. Will this pan out as a great short or will I get stopped out up here? Uh, I Either way, I'm still going to be looking for more shorts because I think this thing's got a long ways to go down a long ways i think the biggest opportunity of our lifetime in all markets is coming and that doesn't mean the markets are going to skyrocket in my opinion these things are coming down coming down in a big way coming down hard watch the dow jones that's going to be a big big key in this whole situation but as you can see right now it's getting rejected right here at the 20 ma right the 20 moving average again my target for that is around 40,453 ish uh probably should come really close somewhere in this red box and that red box is anywhere from 40,600 points to 40,321 expect a bounce there maybe a retest of your 50 right here um, but first let's see what happens here Unless you open and close a daily above 42,575, this thing is on a continuation to the downside. Like I said, after the election, that might be around in here, right? After the election, you get another pop up before a continuation down. So just be cautious out there, guys. History often repeats. It, it definitely rhymes, and uh, everything is kind of lining up. A mixture of 2008 and 1929 here. It could get really, really bad. So just be careful. Much love. Make sure you smash the like. Subscribe to the channel for daily updates. And I will see you in the next one.